what you are seeing is a four uh, module of relay okay uh, these are basically relay parts okay and here are the optocouplers basically the working of optocoupler is that it consists of a photo transistor so whenever a uh, 5 volt control signal given from these pins 1 2 3 4 which you are seeing here uh, enable 1 IN2 IN3 and IN4 these are input control signals which you can give from either microcontroller or DTMF module so if a control signal is given so it switch on a uh, LED inside this transistor and when the base part gets that light it generates a voltage a above threshold voltage which finally operates the relay okay so once the relay is operated uh, whatever device you have connected here either it is AC or DC it will get switched on okay so uh, let us clearly see each part here is the ground part of this relay module and here is the VCC from where you will give 5 volt okay uh, don't give here um, uh, more than 5 volt because you can see here uh, this relay is of 5 volt control SRD05 VDC it means you have to give 5 volt as a control signal okay there are different kind of relays which I will show you here like you can see here this is a 6 volt relay DC 6 volt okay you can see here this is a DC 6 volt relay so it requires a 6 volt control signal similarly uh, there comes relay of 9 volt 12 volt also so you have to make sure whatever you are buying is to your uh, requirement so now we will see the DTMF module ok friend uh, here is the DTMF module uh, this one which you are seeing is an audio jack port which will be connected via this uh, jack cable to your phone okay uh, this is uh, 5 volt and ground which you will if you supply an external power supply then it will give you a 5 volt and signal because at the back side you can see here there is an LM117 which is a kind of a voltage regulator okay so whatever you will give here 9 volt 8 volt 7 volt 12 volt you will get exact 5 volt signal here and um, here is our oscillator and this one is the DTMF decoder IC okay so this module will come nearly around 100 to 120 from eBay or Amazon you can get easily okay now uh, these pins which you are seeing, he seeing here these are uh, DTMF output pins okay uh, right here you can see that D0, D1, D2, D3 so whatever uh, you press key in your mobile phone correspondingly a binary um, in a binary pattern uh, the signal appears here for example if you press 1 then it represents 2 power 0 it means 1 so 1 pin will be activated if you press 2 then uh, its code the binary code will be 0 1 so D1 will be activated and press other pin will be 0 and similarly if you press 3 then D0 and D1 pin will be activated rest rest other pin B will be in switch off mode and correspondingly here are the LEDs which will show you that which pin is energized and which are in off state and the pin uh, the DV uh, thing you in which you are seeing right here in the LED uh, it glues whenever a signal is given once the signal is uh, switched off then it also gets switched on ok here is the power module uh, whenever the uh, you give external power supply or it is in, in switch on state uh, this LED will indicate that uh, the decoder module is getting enough power ok so these are basically the things which you see in a DTF module this one is for external power supply ok so now we will see how to uh, wire all these things directly to our relay and how we can control uh, our home appliances uh, not from a distance of 100 meter we are talking here but, uh, but to a large scale like if you are in other state and you want to control your devices then you can also do it for that we will use 
two mobile sets you can use any kind of mobile there's no need uh, there is no basic requirement it just should be a simple phone with an audio jack this is the basic requirement and nothing else no smartphone is required or basic phone will do the purpose so what we will do we will first connect our audio jack we will first connect our audio jack in our mobile friend now we will see how to wire these things up okay first we require a phone okay which will act as a receiver okay i connect the uh, jack cable into my phone and it's another output in my dtm module so whenever somebody calls me and when i receive the call and if that person uh, presses one then i will hear a tone that Uh, audio signal will be transferred to my DTM decoder and it will decode it and produce corresponding output. Okay. Now, here is our relay. Can I do this one? Okay. Here is our relay. So, first we will connect the control signals. These control signals to corresponding relay input signal. Okay. Now the the receiver part is complete. So we have to give energy and take the output signal from this decoder to the input of the relay. Okay. I connect these cables directly to my uh, four. There are four cables corresponding to four output signal which I will receiving from DTMF module. Okay. I will connect these four because as these are female to female jumper wire, and I have to convert it into another. So I just connected another four set of wires, and I will connect in the same order. So the orange will come first, orange part. So I have to connect in this manner. Just one by one. so we have connected the control signals the control signal from dtmf goes to the input signal of the dtf module now we have to give power supply to our dtmf module and to our relay so that the transistor can work and the relay also so for that so now we will uh, give external power supply here okay and uh, as we are getting 5 volt and ground here so we will take the 5 volt to our relay module so now i just connect this 9 volt battery you can easily get from 15 to 16 rupees so okay okay now i will take its output and okay. now via these cables i will just Connect, and you can see a uh, red LED is glowing. It means my decoder is getting enough voltage to operate. Okay. Now I have to give power supply to my relay module. Uh, so with two these two cables, the red one for five volt, which is here, VCC you can see here. Okay. We will connect our red cable in this. Okay, and for ground, and for ground, the brown cable. Now these two cables I will connect to my DTMF module. It's not getting that bit messy, but it's okay. Okay. Now you can see that all the LED of the relays are glowing. It means everything is getting enough power. So we are all ready. Now what we have to do to control the appliances as relay are electromechanical switches. so we have to connect our appliances to the outlet port of the relays here you can see that there are uh, for one relay there are three outputs okay one set is common the middle one is common 
okay the other right side is normally closed means short circuit to this in uh, when the relay is not operating but when the relay gets a control signal and it energizes or it is in activated state uh, the lever disengages from the right side and it engages with the left side so the normally open one get closed and the previous which is closed one it becomes an open circuit okay so we will connect all our these things in normally open mode okay friend uh, uh, we have wired all our control signal and the external power supply now we will connect our external uh, electrical devices or home devices which we want to connect Okay guys, um, for example this is our LED and uh, this is a connecting wire. So what we do, we just insert in this and switch on the light, we see the light, okay? To connect it with relay, what we have to do, just take any single wire of it, okay? First let me switch on it, as I will get executed, okay? Just take any of the wire. It doesn't require that you take the light wire or the neutral as it is AC, it doesn't affect. So just take any wire and cut into two pieces. You get the two terminals. Okay. So what you have to do, you have to connect these two terminals in our relay module. So I will just a little bit remove as plastic cover. And now I will connect it to my relay. So this is my relay, I will connect it to my normally closed mode. The fan is quick. And similarly, we will connect it here. So, our, um, so we have connected our bulbs with first relay okay and similarly we will connect our other appliances too so we will fast up this video okay Okay friend, um, with this phone, I am going to connect a call uh, to my ordinary phone and after receiving it, uh, the, in numpad, whatever I will press, correspondingly my gadget will turn on. As I have uh, told you, that if I press 1, then my LED will turn on. Right now it is glowing, but at the time of when I will connect my call, it will get off. And if I press 2, then my CFL, the spiral CFL will turn on. And if I press 4, then my... Uh, this floor will turn on. Why I haven't said 3? Because if I type 3, then my DTM decoder will uh, just uh, convert it into a binary number. So it will turn on 1 and 2. Okay, uh, the binary representation of 3 is 1, 1. Okay, so these two will be turned on. Uh, so if I want to turn on this device which is connected to pin number 3 so I have to just switch on the third pin which is 2 ka power 2 which is 4 ok so let's see I'm just calling ok here I'm connecting my call Okay, you can see here the sound is coming. Now I will just receive it. Okay. Now this is the numpad section. Okay. Seeing it clearly. If I press one, then my this LED bulb will go low. Okay. You can see there. 
the bulb is glowing. If I press 2, the spiral safer will turn on and the LED will be off. If I press 4, the blue will turn on. everything will be switch off mode okay so if i want to turn on both this led and my spiral safer then i have to press three okay. and uh, just uh, keep one thing in mind that if you are not using microcontroller then uh, the number of gadgets which you want to be using then correspondingly you will uh, use one its output pin so in DTMF there are only four output pins so you can directly control only four devices okay by your relay module but if you are using Arduino then with the four outputs you can control maximum of 15 devices which we will see shortly okay thank you